Okay, now the half-life of a radioisotope is 20 minutes. The initial activity of a sample of the radioisotope is 480 becquerel. Calculate the activity of the sample after one hour. Okay, so here it gives you the half-life. Okay, it gives you the half-life already, but in per mi in minutes. Uh, this one in minutes. Uh, okay, also it gives you the initial activity. Initial activity, so this is A0. Uh, this is A0. Uh, in Becquerel. Becquerel is SI unit. Yeah, Becquerel is SI unit. It's uh, the same meaning as per second. Okay, uh, Becquerel is actually uh, uh, same meaning as per second. Okay, uh, we, 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 we knew this. Uh. One Becquerel is one second. Eh? Uh, let me, one Becquerel is one decay per second. Uh, it's the same. Okay, so, um, so this one is um, initial activity also uh, 480 decay per second, yeah, it's the same. Or 480 becquerel. Now, um, uh, calculate the activity after one hour. So he want the final activity. You want the final activity after time taken one hour. Okay, this one is in hour. Make, pay attention, uh, hour, half life minute. Uh, time is hour. You must make the unit become equal. Huh? You either make this 20 minute become in hour uh, so that equal to the hour or you want to change the hour become minute uh, also can yeah one hour is 60 minute uh, let's say yeah so he want the, uh, he already give you the okay initial activity okay 480 becquerel uh, or 480 per second uh, so uh, you see here this one activity actually is decay rate Actually, activity has negative sign. You understand or not? Activity actually has a negative sign. Activity actually is um, activity actually is a decay rate. Decay rate, ah, uh, decay. That means decreasing, decreasing. So actually, the correct one is negative four hundred eighty decay per second. It should be like that, okay? Uh, but this one we ignore the negative sign for equation like this. Uh, equation like this. Uh, if you want to put both negative, also can. You want to put both, you have negative, negative equal to negative, uh, can. But you actually, you can just ignore the, ignore the negative sign. Lah. You can just ignore the negative sign. Okay? Uh, yeah? You can ignore the negative sign if you use this equation. Okay? Or this equation. You can ignore the, can ignore the uh, negative sign. But if you use the formula like a equal to negative lambda n, uh, a equal sorry, uh, if you use a formula a equal to negative lambda n, ah, uh, then this one you must substitute the negative sign. This one cannot ignore. You must put a negative, uh, four hundred eighty. Uh, negative four hundred eighty. Then only can uh the unit can be cancelled off. Uh, the unit can be cancelled off. Uh, then then only we correct okay uh, so this one you must uh, you must uh, have the negative sign yeah uh, for this case for this uh, equation a equal to negative lambda n the activity you must uh, substitute the negative sign okay but for this one for this activity you can just just ignore the negative sign you can just put the activity as positive positive lah. okay uh, just we just want the value we just want the value okay so uh let's continue let's continue okay let's continue our lesson okay uh, you can ignore the negative sign for these two equation okay so uh, uh for for just now that one this one is a mass uh, mass negative lah okay and this one mass negative if you are using using this equation a equal to negative lambda n because uh, have to be tally with the right hand side see negative negative become positive uh, so uh, this one you can ignore these two you can ignore the negative sign so now uh, let's look at this question again this one uh, the time taken is uh, one hour oh, wait uh, the the initial activity is uh, 480 uh, becquerel which is uh, 480 per second is the same uh? becquerel is uh, per second um, they are SI unit, okay, the same. You can change becquerel to per second. Okay. So now, uh, time taken is one hour. So want to find the final activity at one hour. Uh, so what I do is I compare first. 
what I do, you, you can straight away use this formula, a equal to a naught exponent negative lambda t, or you can use this formula if the time is perfectly multiples of half-life. Uh, like I can see here, one hour is actually multiples of uh, half-life 20 minutes, because one hour is how many minutes? One hour is uh, 60 minutes. Uh, 60 minutes. So how many half-life? Uh, so let's find out how many half-life. So one hour is 60 minutes. I change to minute and then the half life is uh sorry half life is 20 minutes. Uh half life is 20 minutes. So this one uh divide after divide uh I get uh three times half life. Actually this is three times half life. Okay? Uh three times half life. So I can straight away just use this one. No need to use the exponent one. Exponent one you need to find lambda. You need to find lambda, you need to find time, you need to exponent some more. You still can do it, you can still can use this one, but uh, why not use the easier one, yeah? Why not use the easier one? Okay, so, uh, okay, find the find activity. So, half time, uh, to the power of 3, and this is the initial activity, 480 back row, okay? 480 back row. So, uh, what's my answer? Okay, uh, 480 divide uh divide by two uh to the power of three okay um ah i get 60 back row uh or you can also write as 60 decay per second uh so is the answer correct is the answer correct ah uh, the answer is um not responding yeah 60 back row 60 back row, 60 back row, yes, or 60 decay per second, yeah, it's correct. Uh, okay? If you want to use this, can also, no problem, yeah? uh, never mind, just one time, let us do the hard way. So, this is a 480 back row, okay, maintain the unit so that easy for us to refer. Negative ln 2, lambda, lambda is ln 2 over half-life, half-life, my half-life, uh, you see, can maintain the same, same unit. You can maintain uh, the 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 what the lambda in minute uh, can change the half life to uh, the half life is already in minute so twenty uh, this is a minute uh, half life is minute okay and then multiply by what multiply by the time taken is one hour one hour change to minute also uh, minute change to minute ah uh, so they can cancel the unit. Answer or not? They can cancel the unit. Uh, let's find out uh, the answer. Ln 2 uh, divide by 20 times uh, 60. Uh, and then, uh, and then uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. 480 uh, times the exponent. Uh, this answer some more. Okay. So, what's my answer? Oh, I get answer 60 back row again. That's correct also. Huh? I still get the same answer. You see that? I still get the same answer. Uh, why, it, why, is it, why is the unit back row? Why is the unit back row? Why is the A back row? Because the A naught is also back row. Okay? Uh, or you can write as 60 per second. So, either way, you can use uh, either method. You want to use this one, or you want to use this one, also can. You want to use this one, or this one, also can. Encourage you to use this one, because uh, the time is perfectly multiples of the half-life. Then, easy for you. Lah. Okay? Uh, you can avoid the exponent, and find the lambda. Yeah? Now, how about the next question? Find the time taken for the activity. For the activity to drop to uh, 100 back row. Okay, so this is the... Uh, he want to find the time taken. Time taken and this is to drop to. To drop to. Sometimes the question drop by. Uh, drop by 100. So this is decrease how much? This is decrease to what value? Uh, so you must pay attention to all this language problem. Uh. Decrease to 100. If the question say activity decrease to 100 back row, that means this is the final activity, isn't it? Uh, this is the final activity become 100. So, want to find the time taken. 
Uh, so what you do is uh, just use the formula a equal to a naught exponent negative lambda t. Uh, so 100 becquerel, uh, the, final, the final activity is 100. The initial activity is 480. Uh, so uh, the final is 100 becquerel. Uh, initial is 480 becquerel. Okay. Uh, exponent uh, negative lambda you lambda you want to put what let me get it a little bit lower here uh, yeah the lambda you want to put what lambda you put in um, you want to find the time did he say the time must be in minute or second no he didn't say so i think uh you your because your half life no you want to find the time i uh, just change to minute isn't it change to minute lah uh, so my half life, my half life is already in minute. I just maintain in minute, twenty minute. Yeah, maintain in minute. Uh, maintain in minute. So this my half life is twenty minute. Ah, uh, so you, if your half life is twenty minute, your time must be in minute. You understand? Ah, uh, yeah. The here the activity here and activity a and a naught. Ah, uh, the the unit becquerel cancel out. And then here the lambda is uh, minute, so your time must also be in unit minute. Yeah, later you will get the answer in minute. Don't don't straight away put the time in second. Okay, check the unit. Okay, let us find it out. What's the time taken? Yeah, let's find it out. Yeah. Okay, so um okay um never mind uh I get a desk. Why I uh, just put like that first, okay? Uh, exponent uh, negative ln two over twenty minute. Put uh, write down the unit together, uh, so that you can check. You can check. Uh, then I ln both side. Yeah, I ln both side. I ln both side. Ln both side. Yeah, I ln both side. And what I get is uh, ln this one. I get uh, this one is uh, I get it. Uh, negative uh, 1.5686 uh, I put as many decimal places as possible as, at least 4 decimal places 4 and above ok uh, that will be very very accurate now uh, and then this one ln e uh, ln e become 1 so what's left is negative ln 2 this one is being brought down this one is being brought down 20 minute half life and time uh, brought down with the here the ln e already disappear because it becomes one isn't it this one ln come on man ln e is equal to one uh, so what's my final answer the time i got so my time i get um uh multiply divide by ln two then a negative negative become positive so disappear <laughs> So my time is uh, uh, okay uh, because negative so no more so 45 point uh, two six minute ah uh, so that's my answer 45.26 minute is that answer correct 45.26 minute yes it's almost the same lah uh, see the final answer is 45 minute for 45 minutes so I my answer is 45.26 minutes uh, okay it's almost correct uh, actually I can see why because he make he round up all the value to two that's uh, two feet significant figure yeah you can see all the value of two significant figure yeah all the answer also in two significant figure okay uh, never mind okay so 45 minutes uh, so my answer also in minute why must be minute why my uh, time in minute because i follow the half life minute uh, that's why it's important to write down the unit in, uh, in the uh, when you substitute value so that finally when you get the time you got the correct unit instead of you put you straight away put oh you see time you put second uh, wrong lah yeah wrong you must uh, follow the unit of half life okay all right uh that's uh don't put the now don't put like that huh? 
Okay, you also can uh, later change to uh, second if you want the an question answer in second. Uh, you just uh, multiply 60 lah. If the answer he an was one, find the time in second. Find the time in second. Uh, then you just multiply 60 lah. Okay, that's all for this question. Okay.